Hi everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been a while since I've done one of those walkthroughs and I am so happy to present my latest album. I used Atelier de Art. It is spelled uh, D-E-S for the des, but I think it's called Atelier de Art. I'm not sure, but either des arts or de arts. But anyway, it is uh, absolutely stunning collection made by Sarah Alcobendas for Staperia. And I took it um, really to heart because it speaks to me in more ways than one. First of all, it is very colorful. It is exactly my colors. These are my colors. So I loved, loved it. Um, it has a lot of brown undertone and those dark vintage uh, colors with pops of color. And it is, you know, the dark uh, colors like fall with a lot of gray in it, which is exactly the tones that I like. So I had, a, you know, when I saw this collection first came out, I'm like, oh, I have to do something with it. But because I moved and I was busy, I didn't get a chance until now. So this is the first one I've done. As you can see, let's go through the cover first. And the cover have a lot of fun stuff. So I took the eight by eight page from the collection and I cut it out to different sections and I added chipboard underneath to give it volume. So this is sunk in and this here is sunk in and all these things, you know, either sticking out or sunk in. I have uh, one of those shaker pock, shaker windows here. I have those elements that I used resin with the mold, but you can use resin or you can use uh, air dry clay, whatever your medium is with the medium, with the mold. I added a little bottle here with some uh, beads and I just think it's really, really, really cute. Like fibers over here. Over here, I have another mold, and the back is plain. You don't really, I mean, there's so much going on in the front that I felt you don't really need much in the back. So this is a tutorial. Um, it's gonna be with just a video, and I added the measurements to the video as well. Okay, of course, they're always in inches. That's how I work, I work in inches. So the front cover, and the back cover are both the same. They just have a pocket here and a place to put photo mats. Okay, so that's it. That's all there is to the cover. Okay. The first page, you have a little flap and it this thing slides out, in and out. It's a little bit larger than it needs to be right now when it's empty, but when you start adding photos, you can add a bunch of photos and it'll still slide in and out. And over here, there is a pocket with a tag. So that's kind of cool when you slide it out. And that's just the back side. And over here, there is a flap with a pocket. Look how cute this is. I like pocket flaps. I don't know why. That's one of the things I really like doing. And uh, there is a short pocket that it's not in the video. I just added it later because I had this piece and I didn't want to cut it. And it didn't really fit anywhere else. So when I was embellishing the uh, album, I'm like, mm, maybe I can add just a flat pocket over here. Okay. So this does not have a magnet because it closes with the sleeve. Then you flap the whole thing up. And here is a top flap. And I put this white 
page here so that you can see where a photo can fit in the paper. You don't, of course, have to uh, put the white with the photo. This, anytime you see a white cardstock in this collection, it's just to denote where you're gonna be putting a photograph. So if you're doing it to give to somebody else, you can choose to use a white cardstock instead of a photo. Okay. And this is the back side of this top flap. And over here, there's also room to put photos. And here's a nice large pocket. And you can just put things here and here. And this I added later is a embellishment. So the embellishment for this album, I just used after I used all the paper, I had the back side of the cover full of cutouts and I used those to embellish my album. Okay. And also you can make tags of it. And honestly, I still have a lot left over. And there is a photo mat that fits in the pocket between the two pages. Section B closes with a ribbon. And again, over here you have a large pocket and this is an embellishment that I added. And I made some photo mats and over here you can put a photo or over here. And at the back of the photo mats, I added white cardstock. And this flips to the right. And here I have a side flap. This is just an embellishment part, but you can you can uh, make it like a half pocket if you want. I just decided to leave it like that. Okay, and uh, this side have a pocket here, and this is a flap, and this is the pocket. And I made some tags with the leftover things that I had left. Oh, the, I had it tied as a ribbon, so pretty. Okay. And there's a tag here, but it is attached on the side. And the reason that I left it attached is it's gonna be a tuck pocket right there. You can tuck things there. If you wanna put photos, but you don't really wanna glue it, you just tuck it in. So I thought that was kind of cool. And you tie it. Okay, section C. Well, I don't know if this is really the, the order of the sections. I made them and then I put them together differently. So I, I should not say sections because it might not be the same. Okay, so uh, this is a side flap. This goes up. And there is a cutout here that I put over a pocket. And you can tuck things here. Inside the pocket, there's plenty of room. And of course you have room here to put photos if you want. So it'll be nice to add something here. And of course at the back of the flap. And there is another uh, photo mat right there. Okay. This section right here have three pockets and you can really tuck things in any way you want behind this, in front of this, however you like. It goes all the way out. And over here, there's another pocket that you can fit things here. Lots of four by sixes or five by sevens. And here there is another pocket right there that can fit up quite a large photo mat. Okay, so this is that. The next page, this is the fifth page. I have, oh, this is supposed to be like that actually, it's supposed to close like this. There's a magnet there. There's this beautiful lady. 
closes on the flap and in the back of the flap there is a belly band to tuck things here and I just put a tag here and there is a short pocket to put something there and there's another pocket flap with a pocket here and you can put some things here so another pocket with a with a photo mat all right and this page has like an envelope closer and top flap and there is a pocket here i didn't really put anything here maybe i should there's a pocket there and over here there's a pocket with i made some a couple of photo mats to go in there and then there's room to put a photograph here So as you can see, it is the organization of it and the elements are not complicated because the paper is really busy and really colorful. So I chose to really show the paper in a very easy, pleasant way. I added solid cardstock in muted colors so they're not very loud in browns and creams, a little bit of turquoise as you can see here. Uh, some red, but it's not in your face. So it balances it out. So this, yeah, I like I like this section. I like, you know, the, these elements a lot. I just put, um, it's like a buckle that closes. And when you open, you have all these little things over here. And I thought it was enough. Okay, this is the sixth page, uh, the seventh page. It has like a belt buckle with another magnet here that closes everything. And there is a pocket uh, flap with a photo mat here. Actually, I put lines here that you can journal and in the back you can put a photograph. And this opens up and in this other side over here, you have a flat pocket again you can tuck things here behind it you can tuck something there which is really cool and the left side of it has uh, five flaps that is like a waterfall and this is really cool to put a series of small photos you know so if you have like a uh, you have like one theme and you know like you know two people in 45 different positions it i think it's really cute to put in something like that you know you make small copies of it and you just make a whole bunch of it in clusters and i really like that but that's me you can choose to put there whatever you like close that and close the belt and again, there's a large photo mat in here that you can put photos on both sides. And because I double score the pages, these go in and out really easily. So you can still put a photo in there and slide them in. And the last page, again, it has the same uh, belt buckle. It closes, it keeps everything closed. And you have a double flap. So the flap opens twice, once and then again. And you can put things here. And I put a tag, but it's glued on because of, again, you can just tuck things here. And another pocket flap, this one goes down. And you'll see in the video, I, I sort of had like, a, I don't know what you call it, but I changed it at the last minute and, and it just came out really perfect and I was really happy with this one. Because I think it's just perfect. So over here, I left it white and over here I put a theme and over here I left the frame so that you can fit something in there.
and it slide in rather easy. And the back side of it, again, there is a flat pocket there and there is a place for a tag. Well, that's it. So, you know, rather simple. It's really, this album came together very fast. You know, it did not take too long to do. Okay. And over here, like I showed before, there's already two pockets. All right, so that's that. Um, so to see the tutorial, please follow the playlist. I'm going to put all the pages, to, all the uh, videos together. You have uh, two sections in each video, and then you have one video for the cover, how to build the eight and a half by eight and a half by three cover. And then uh, the video of me decorating the cover is in speed mode with music, because I didn't want you to sit through three hours to just watch me do this. Uh, there really wasn't much that I needed to explain. Uh, if you want to really see it in uh, real mode, just adjust the video. You can adjust it to play slowly. So it is, uh, I think, 300 times the speed. So if you do, um, if you adjust it to play slow at like 33.33%, it'll be normal. Okay. If you have any questions, again, please let me know. And the kit is available. Oh, the kit, yes. Let me tell you what you'll get at the, in the kit. So you get everything that you need to make this. You'll get two packs, one of the 12 by 12, one of the eight by eight. You're gonna get three sheets of chipboard, okay? Two of them are to make the cover and an extra one to make all these cuts for the cover. You're gonna get uh, a mold, the, the A4 mold for, you know, to make uh, molds for the cover. I chose these elements and this. You know, there are of course other elements there that you'll be able to use. You'll get this little bottle, you'll get the beads and the sequins that go in there. You get some fibers that you can stick wherever you want. You'll get those, um, you know, these fibers to put on tags. And I use different ones. You know, I use this ribbon. I used, let me see over here. Where is it? I want to show you this one. I just don't know where I put it. I think I put it here. Yes. So I use like this kind of Indian silk. Um, so I'll give you some of that. Yeah, you may like it, you may not. Some people do, some people don't, I don't know. But I'll add a few of those in, in the kit. You'll get some of the lace because I did use some lace. I just, I did different ones, different things. I didn't wanna have it all the same. So I, you're gonna get some of the lace. Uh, you will get, um, let me see, uh, some of the eyelets that I used for the tags, these things, magnets, of course. Let me see if I don't forget anything. I have a feeling that I'm forgetting some things. Let me go. Oh, you'll get the acetate for the shaker and okay, ribbon magnets. Oh, and the, uh, did I say a pack of six coordinating cardstock? I think I said that. And that's, oh, and the back biting tape for the album. The, uh, the book biting tape, I mean, that I use. And that's it. If anything happens during the time when you make an album using my kit and you misplace something, ruin something, destroyed, whatever, the chipboard, the mold, let me know, okay? And that's it. It's, I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you get creative and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.